we talk about the manifestations of non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. They would ask that a patient, a 65-year-old patient has come to the OPD and has been found having the diabetic retinopathy. What is the first manifestation of the non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy? So remember, whenever they are asking about the first ocular manifestation of diabetic retinopathy, the answer here is microaneurysm. Now, because of the loss of pericytes, which I told you are the supporting cells of the capillaries, we see outpouchings of the blood vessels. So, these outpouchings of the blood vessels or capillaries, they are called microaneurysms. And remember, they are the first ocular manifestation. Now we come to the other ocular manifestations. The second important one is the dot blot hemorrhage and flame shaped hemorrhage. So as the word suggests hemorrhage means bleeding. Now the vessel wall has burst and there are hemorrhages. So if the hemorrhages are superficial let's say in the retinal nerve fiber layer, in the ganglion cell layer, we call it the flame-shaped hemorrhages. If they are more inner, let's say because of the rupture of the microaneurysm, they are called dot blot hemorrhages. Remember, I told you that these retinal capillaries are in the inner nuclear layer. Okay, so you can just remember it as a mnemonic like main. Okay, so the microaneurysms are there in the inner nuclear layer. This was a previous year question. Okay, what are the other ocular manifestations? The next ocular manifestation that you should remember is the exudates. Now, these can be the hard exudates and they can be the soft exudates as well. Now, what is the meaning of the hard exudate and soft exudate? Hard exudates are more having the distinct margins and are seen in the inner layers of retina around the macula. So let's say this is my optic nerve head, this is my macula. So hard exudates are the lipofuscin deposits in the inner layers of the retina and in contrast Soft exudates, which are also called cotton wool spots, are actually not the exudates. They are basically the retinal nerve fiber layer infarcts. Okay, they can be seen in diabetic retinopathy, they can be seen in hypertensive retinopathy, they can be seen in the central retinal venous occlusion, they can be seen in any type of vasculitis. Okay, so these are the RNFL infarcts, they are having more of a cotton type fluffy nature. Okay, so non distinct margins are there, more around the vascular arcades. Okay. So, like this, they may be the your cotton wool spots or soft exudates. Remember, both hard exudates and soft exudates can be seen in the patients of diabetic retinopathy. Now, one more thing that you have to understand is that sometimes what happens is,
that there are abnormal communication channels between the artery and the vein. So these are called abnormal communication channels between the arteries and veins. They are called IRMAs, intraretinal microvascular anomalies. So they are just the precursor of having the proliferative diabetic retinopathy. The last ocular manifestation of NPDR which you have to understand is the venous beading. So you may be getting the veins having abnormal knob like swellings in the retina. These are called venous beadings. So all of these are the various ocular manifestations of non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. If you can see this fundus picture, you can see many of these manifestations which I have told you now. So if you can see these small red spots, can you appreciate? So these small red tiny spots, these are the microaneurysms. I write it with a short form MA. If you can see these yellowish lesions, these are the hard exudates. Okay. If you can see this red patch, these are the dot blot hemorrhages. So if you see pinpoint red spots, they are the microaneurysm. If you see the larger amount of bleeding, then they are the hemorrhages. Hard exudates, you would see the yellowish demarcated lesions around the macula and in cotton wool spots, you would see more fluffy type of lesions. Now in this figure, you can see that around the arrows, you are seeing the large hemorrhages. So these are the dot blot hemorrhages in the inner layers of the retina and why they have happened? They have happened because of the rupture of wall of microaneurysm. Okay. So whenever you see a fundus picture, please understand that you have to see the optic nerve head first, then you have to see the macula, see any red color, see any yellow color and then see any black color. If you are seeing any red color, red color means there can be a microaneurysm or hemorrhage. Yellow color you can basically have in any type of exudate, whether it is a soft exudate or hard exudate. And if you are seeing any black color, it may be due to any laser mark or it may be due to pigmentation. And then see the options and basically correlate there. Most of the times you would be getting the answer in a moment.